What is up everyone? It is a beautiful overcast and cool day here in South Georgia. I'm headed south for the week to do a little bit of herping down in South Georgia, North Florida, but stopping to do a little flipping here on the way. Really hoping to see a king snake or two on the way down, but I'm not gonna count on it, but it would be an awesome surprise if we do, so we're gonna hit a couple flip spots, and uh, if we get one, that'd be great. All right, guys, well, the first couple of spots were not productive, but I pulled over here to dig through this tarp, pulled back the layer, and right there is our next king snake of the year curled up in this tarp. Looks like he's in shed, unfortunately, but we're gonna pull him out and get a look at him. Nice and warm. Oh, that'd be a nice snake out of shed. <laughs> All right, guys, this is a, uh, unfortunately in shed, but I'm sure this would be an absolutely beautiful snake with a fresh shed. But I'm just excited we actually got a king today. The first couple spots were really promising and uh, we didn't see anything at him, but really nice little king snake. Another little female. Uh, unfortunately, this girl is as deep in shed as you can possibly be. So we're just gonna take a couple quick voucher photos of her so that if I recapture her in the future, I can recognize her and uh, let her go back in her tarp. Really cool looking snake. Tragically in shed, as usual. It's one of the sucky things about springtime is a lot of the snakes go into a shed cycle as soon as they come out of hibernation. And that's what's going on here. Alrighty, well I'm gonna put this girl back. Another thing that's really cool about the snake is how solid black her belly is. No pattern at all. The chains just stop right there. Really cool looking king snake. And uh, only the third one of the year. So we're picking up for sure, but uh, we're still not really into peak king snake season. That'll happen here in the next week or so um, and last until about mid to late April. So I'm gonna photograph this girl and put her back under her tarp. There you go. Awesome. All right, we've got a really nice looking car hood here. Let's see if I can flip this by myself. Oh my God. Oh yes. Whoo. Jesus, he was kind of close. That is awesome. So that right there is the first diamond back I've flipped under a car hood. That is awesome. What a way to start the trip. Holy crap. That is so awesome. Never get tired of seeing them. Hopefully this isn't the last one we see this trip since we're going to be in range for the next four to five days. But I mean, that's awesome. I think this is the first one I've seen in this county too. All right. Well, he's getting a little bit unhappy with me. So I'm just going to put his car hood back down. But oh my goodness, what a way to start the trip. Eastern King and Diamondback basically at the same spot. That is awesome. Hopefully this isn't the only diamond back we see this trip, but. Yeah. But anyways, as with most rattlesnakes, we like to disturb these guys as little as possible. So I'm gonna try to gently lower his car hood back down on top of him. And we're gonna see what else we can turn up. The day is made already with these two snakes that we found. So if we don't see anything else, that's perfectly fine by me. All right, guys, this is gonna be our last spot for the day. I think we have a lot of driving to do to get to our final destination. Little mices. That's a cute little mouse. Look at these guys. All right. We have reached our destination for the week. We're here in the Atlantic coast. And I'm going to be spending the next few days herping in this area. And uh, just all around exploring a part of the coast I've never been to. So anyways, I'm looking forward to seeing what we can turn up in this area. There's some awesome coastal dunes habitat here. Could potentially have king snakes. Definitely has more diamond backs. And uh, I'm really just looking forward to getting out and exploring a little bit. But uh, it's getting late. We're probably not going to do any more herping today. So I will see you guys first thing in the morning. Boys, I found hermit crabs. <laughs> They're being shy. But look at that. Oh, 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 oh! Yeah! <laughs> well, 
It is a gloomy second day of this trip and it's drizzling and the forecast does not show any sign of stopping soon. So it might end up being kind of a bust of a day. If it stops raining long enough for me to get out, I'm going to go and try to at least flip some stuff and see if I can turn up some stuff under cover. But the weather definitely took a turn for the worst today. We'll see what we can do with it. All right, guys, so we're kind of exploring this area. We stumbled across this really crazy, cool old cemetery here. Big oyster shell walls, but really awesome place. Probably not gonna see any snakes in here, but it was too cool not to get a little bit of footage of. So we're walking around just checking this out. So we've got a nice break in the rain here. It's still kind of gloomy out and it's about like 55 degrees. Hoping that if we can find something to flip, we'll be able to turn up some snakes. So we'll see. I have found cemetery toad. How's it going, bud? Handsome example of the Southern toad, obviously quite common here in North Florida, South Georgia. But good looking little toad, we're gonna put him back. First herp of the day. It is just raining out here, but there's a couple more brown anoles here. Figured I'd show them to you real quick. Well, it isn't much, but flipping through some tidal debris, I uncovered this guy, nice little Southern black racer. First snake of the day. Probably the last, considering how awful this weather is, but a little racer. These guys are common just about everywhere, so nothing crazy, but it's drizzling, it's cold. I'm gonna put him back under his little tire I flipped him under. Let's try this again. Today isn't supposed to be as rainy, but it is still quite cool. I think the high today is about 60 degrees, but uh, either way, as long as it's not raining, I think we'll have a better chance of seeing more than we did yesterday. Well, here's our first find of the day. It's not a snake, but an old shed here on the beach. Smooth scaled snake, probably a racer or coach whip, but it's possible that that is a king snake shed. Um, I'm gonna say more than likely it's not, but could be. Anyways, good evidence that there's some snakes in this area. We're gonna go see if we can find them. So today's weather is definitely nothing to write home about, but it is a little bit better than yesterday because it's not just pouring rain. We're out here in this really crazy habitat. The high today is about 59 degrees, which is not the best, but it is within the basking range of uh, basically anything I'd want to see, especially if we get a little sun coming through. But anyways, I'm just walking around in this kind of coastal stuff, hoping to see some stuff to flip. Um, there are armadillos and gopher tortoises here. That's an armadillo hole, but uh, Hopefully stuff will be basking outside of holes like that, but here's what I mean. Like there's a bunch of tidal debris, like this board that could end up having some sort of herp under it. There's some cool insects, but. So it's not the best cover, but there are tons of washed up boards like this here that are basically just, I mean, they're suitable for king snakes. Um, so it's definitely possible they could turn up under them, but tons of stuff to flip out here that's just washed up on the beach. Hopefully you guys can hear me because the wind, but uh, I just found something really sad, but also really cool. This right here is some kind of sea turtle shell. I don't know my sea turtles well enough to be able to identify it by its shell, but see how big it is. That's crazy. The first time I've ever seen anything like this. This is really cool and also unfortunate. Um, but just like any other animal, these things do die of natural causes on occasion. Either way, really cool and really unfortunate. I think it's illegal to even mess with their bodies or anything, so I'm not going to touch it. But really cool find. What's up, bud? How's it going? <laughs> this place is full of surprises. Check that out. Too cool. The rest of them's right there, but this is the part that's cool. Well, it isn't much, but I managed to find a nice big piece of tin here, and under the edge, nice racer. Apparently, there's plenty of these guys around. This is a really good looking little guy. Air temp's still around 60 degrees. The air is really cool, but the uh, tin was nice and warm, so. And this guy's pretty warm, too. It's not. He's being relatively defensive, but I'm just going to put him right back and we're going to see what's under that. 
I'm guessing nothing. All right, buddy. I'm just gonna put you back. Yep. Go on. There you go. Well, this is weird. An airplane is not exactly something I was expecting to see. This is one of those re remote control ones that I guess someone flew and crash landed out here. Knocked the, the front part off of it. I don't know much about these things, but uh, I can't imagine the person who lost this is very excited about it. Anyways, I'm making my way back to the car. Uh, might go check out a different spot next. So at least we got a racer out here. Found some promising looking habitat for next trip. There's a rabbit. Look at that guy. Nice rattlesnake snack, but uh, doesn't seem that there's any rattlesnakes out today, luckily for him. Well guys, I'm right here in town and I stumbled across this big roofing piece and underneath it was this guy. The second racer of the day, third one of the trip. And uh, I think it further confirms my thought that maybe racers are the only snake that exists in this area. Anyways, it's always cool to see racers thriving in such relatively unsuitable habitat. Uh, this is just like the one abandoned or undeveloped lot in this neighborhood. And big, nice, healthy three foot adult racer. Nice attitude to go with it. So I'm gonna let him crawl back under this thing and uh, might end up calling it a day here unless I can find some more stuff to flip. Good morning, everybody. It is the next day and we are here in South Georgia today, getting ready to spend some time hiking around in the swamp hoping to see some snakes the sun is out today finally as you can see there's this alligator sitting here enjoying it um not the best looking alligator he's got a really gnarly looking injury on that eyeball but we've seen plenty of these guys today and we're going to see a lot more but i figured i'd run my intro now the the main things we're hoping to see today are things like timber rattlesnakes scarlet kings corn snakes could possibly stumble upon a diamondback or a coral or something like that but i really doubt that'll happen but either way, it's gonna be a beautiful day, so we're gonna get out there and see what we can turn up. All right, everyone, we are out here in some beautiful habitat here in South Georgia. Getting ready to hike around and see what all we can turn up. I'm really excited. This is one of my favorite areas of the state, and uh, it's beautiful out today, so I'm just gonna get after it and see what we can turn up. Well, I've been out here for less than five minutes and I just spotted the first snake of the day. There is a cane break right there. All right guys, so I was walking along that burnt stump over there and I glanced through the vegetation and I saw that guy. You saw him from the other side, but unfortunately this guy is in shed, but that is a stunning rattlesnake. This thing will be amazing looking out of shed, but uh, you can see those nice contrasty bold bands. Uh, it's a fairly small young snake. He's not too impressive in size, but he's a pretty little cane break for sure. Really wish we could have found this guy out of shed, um, just based on how bold those chevrons are. But either way, really good looking snake. We're just gonna take a couple NC2 photos and leave him right there. All right, here's one last look at this guy in his habitat before we keep walking. I'm really optimistic about today because, like I said, we were five minutes on foot and we spotted this guy. So hopefully the rest of the day will continue to go this strongly. Awesome start. All right, guys, here's our next snake of the day. This is a coil of a brown water snake hanging out in this bush. These guys are typically pretty common, but I don't think we've seen many of them yet this year but just one coil of this guy hanging out in the sun right there. Um, I'm not gonna be able to get to him without getting soaking wet, so we're gonna leave you with that look. But these guys can be pretty easily identified from other water snakes by those kind of H-like markings on their back. All right, guys, so this is kind of cool. I initially spotted one brown water snake over here, the pretty obvious one right there, but there's another one right here can barely see him through there and then if we go over here there's one right there and yet another one over here kind 
can see that one's head pretty well. He's big. Anyways, that's kind of interesting. Four of them in this one little bush. There's a nice little green anole. These guys seem to just be coming out for the day, even though it's like mid-afternoon at this point, but we weren't seeing any earlier, and now they're suddenly kind of everywhere. But good looking little green knoll. Well, apparently these guys are just all over the place today. There's yet another brown water snake all in this one little stretch, just chilling. <laughs> so here is yet another brown water snake. I think this is what, seven, something like that? Looks like it's Six. Just eight. Might have. But tons of these guys on this trail. There is yet another brown water snake. Apparently this is a certified brown water snake party. What's up, dude? How you guys doing? They're more worried about something over there than me. It's kind of concerning, actually. Probably the screaming kids. Anyways, a couple of nice little white-tailed deer just chilling. What's up, buddy? Probably gonna end the day with this guy. Nice big American alligator. Who's not terribly stoked about me being here. But I'm stoked about seeing him. So we're gonna back up, give him a space, and uh, probably call it a day here. It's been kind of slow, but you can never complain about a day in the swamp with a nice hortus and a bunch of Nerodia, so. All right, guys, here's the first one of these we've seen today, surprisingly, and there he goes. A racer on the way back to the car. Might end up being the last snake of the day.